Trees. Hello tree lovers, today we're taking a look at the hawthorn. It's something we might see all the time but not really notice because it's often planted in hedgerows. But we've got some in the woods here. First I'm going to show you a few features and then I'm going to give you three tree facts. Right, let's take a look at the leaf. It's quite a small leaf, between two and four centimetres long, and it has these very defined deep lobes, which go in almost as far as the midrib. On the young stems, as the name suggests, there are also some very sharp small thorns. In late spring, it produces flowers that are pink or white, and then later in the year, these flowers turn into the berry-like fruit known as a pom. They each contain a single seed and they're very important as a food source for birds in the winter who then disperse the seeds in their droppings. Right, your three tree facts are 1. Hawthorn is native to the UK and a lot of folklore has built up around it. Because it flowers in May, it was the originator of the Maypole and May Day garlands and it's also associated with fertility. There's even a tale of Joseph of Arimathea coming to Glastonbury, planting his staff in the ground and it turning into a hawthorn tree. Two, people used to eat the young buds and leaves of the hawthorn, earning it the very generous nickname of bread and cheese. And three, in medieval times, people used to say the blossom smelled like the plague and death. But it wasn't until centuries later the botanists discovered that the chemical trimethylamine that is produced in the blossom is also found in animal tissue when it decays. So their noses weren't wrong. Okay, till next time.